I'm the great Karno! Hey guys, it's been a very interesting day around the Bay Area. All right, we've got numerous faults around the Bay Area. The most famous, of course, the San Andreas. We've got the Hayward Fault that is locked and ready to go. And have you guys enjoyed learning about the weather? Yeah! Oh yeah, man. That's all right, look at the inside of that thing. Lawrence, what's in that? Those are fruity pebbles. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I love those. Those are good. Can you hold the mic? Absolutely. This is special. This is our Krispy Kreme Look at Donut this. Burger. Look at this, guys. Mmm. Wow. Sweet and salty. That's <laughs> delicious. We love watching Lawrence do the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Alessandra who blew the No, Biotti was about to blow a Which kiss. Whichever, guys, I'm not going to argue about it. <laughs> I understand the curiosity factor. People want to see the tsunami, but folks, this can be a very, very dangerous situation. And, and we're talking, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot. It's two to three, maybe a little over three feet, but folks, this is a surge of energy that has been shooting across the Pacific at over 600 miles per hour, and all that energy ends up on the coastline and just continues to surge on shore. That will go on for a good five maybe 15 minutes so uh, that could be devastating and if you happen to be caught in that of course that could be very deadly well we're expecting the arrival time at 723 at Crescent City Golden Gate about 808 in Santa Barbara at 817 uh, there have been people evacuating moving to higher ground if you live in coastal areas this is one of those times to be on the safe side because there's a lot of uncertainty in the forecast that it's a good idea to head to higher ground uh, we do have the uh, warnings in effect all the way from Washington down through Eureka in through the San Francisco Bay Area down to Point Conception. Some places to watch out locally. Ocean Beach, be very careful in this area. You got all these homes built right along here. You want to move inland if you can, just in case. Also, toward the Lindemar area, they're evacuating in the front of the valley here. You know there's a berm right here at the front of the valley. If for some reason that wave should crest that berm, all this area right here, pretty much below sea level. So a lot of these homes could be inundated, and that's why they're evacuating. In toward the Half Moon Bay area, we're also watching out there although there's a pretty good cliff out toward Half Moon Bay, and that will probably keep that water confined. But up near El Granada, right up in here, yeah, they don't have much in the way of a cliff. They could see some inundation because of that tsunami. Again, it's not necessarily that it is going to happen, but this is one of those times that you have to be very, very careful. You don't get a second chance. Time for weather, and speaking of water, we got a little coming our way, I guess, huh? Three Finally, miles? yeah, a series of storms headed toward the Bay Area. We're seeing some clouds out there now, in fact, starting to see some of the winds picking up outside. Some of those gusts over 20 miles per hour and as the cold front gets closer those winds will continue to pick up into the afternoon you can see it right there just off the coastline the clouds continuing to move into our skies no rain just yet here's that storm system approaching the coastline right now it's been a slow mover here as high pressure out ahead of it but once it moves on shore later tonight the rain will be picking up probably right around 10 o'clock ish let's time it out for you with our computer model as we head in toward the midnight hour starting to see some of those showers moving into the north bay and then as we take into early tomorrow morning Morning for the commute, 8, 9 o'clock. You're looking at showers all around the Bay Area. And then it's going to be on and off, hit and miss showers throughout the better part of the day before settling down. And then here comes Thursday. Look at that. Noontime on Thursday, another cold front dives into the Bay Area to bring your second round of rain and another one after that, probably late Friday and into Saturday. Rainfall amounts, uh, not bad at all. It's going to be a nice little soaking here. And looking out over the next few days, going to see a return to some rainfall. In fact, we're going to keep things unsettled and possibly wet. Tell us what we've got. Here. We've got foods that you're not going to find anywhere else here at the fair. We have deep fried Nutella this morning. Do you mind if I take a bite? We want you to take a bite. How mm. amazing is that? That is delicious. That yeah. is great, isn't that it? That is fantastic. I like that a lot. Mmm. Wow. And uh, messy too. Very yeah. messy. A Very messy. Favorite. We also have deep fried Pop Tarts. Deep fried, if, as if Pop Tarts weren't sweet enough already. Not sweet enough. We have to make them just a little bit more sweet for you. Oh, mm, man, that is really good. Really? I'm never, I'm never going to be able to do the weather like you, this. You're going to have to deep fry everything now. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'll be 700 pounds. What's the next one here? The next one is deep fried cheesecake. Mm. My oh, goodness, that, that is so heavy it wants to fall right off. And those are straight from from Sweet Cheeks, located in, in our kids' park. So you can get those every good too. day. I Isn't could eat great? these almost every day. Look at my hands. It's just a mess, but you're going to have a great time if you come out to the fair here. Of course, the weather <laughs> is looking pretty good, too. Hey, you heard it here. Yep. Lauren said it. So much power, it could go to your head. Too much? No. No. no.